Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are back on Inferno's World for episode number three. That is correct, number three of Inferno's World. And I, not too, too much has been done in between episodes, but I did move a few things around. Did a bit of terraforming over there. I'll explain why, because that's going to be what that episode is for. Um, so I did have to link up a pathway here to that area. So the nano farm had to be moved to over where's it? over here. I'm missing a block for some reason, but yeah, it had to be moved over in no, no, not okay. I also made myself an iron axe and uh, iron shovel. So yeah, not that much has been done in between episodes besides moving, uh, moving a few things around, getting some wood. All the stuff that didn't really matter too much. So, yeah, right here, I have plans for something uh, for this episode as well. But I think first thing we're actually going to do today is we're going to be building one of our buildings. Uh, that is right. So, if I am, this is not it. I might do a few more moving things around at some point. Like, yeah, see, this is the. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the enchantment hut, but the door is going to have to move today. Because it's. Uh, actually, yeah, it's gonna have to move. Which, which kind of sucks, but. Oh well. It's gonna happen. Alright, so the, that. The door's gonna be here now. So, yeah, we're gonna be working. Oh, uh, so really? This is the third. All the all every episode so far, the 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 sun goes away when I'm try when I'm starting to record. We actually have to move this back a block too. In order to get this here to work, so I'm gonna put that one there. Right, not a shovel. It's really early in the morning for me, so if I have a groggy voice, that is why. Um. So yeah, that there's gonna be. A animal farm uh, for animals, obviously, like pigs and sheep and beautiful cows. But we're gonna go to sleep right now because uh, I upped the difficulty. Uh, we are now on hard. So, yeah, that's gonna make things a lot more difficult when it comes to going mining and all that stuff. So, oh, yeah, and also put a tree there because I want to make that a massive tree. Well, hello, Mr. Drowned. I'll, I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Drowned. Ha ha. Ha ha. So, um, yeah, first thing we're actually gonna do today is we are going to build up our fishing hut. So, that's gonna be this little building right here. I did put sugarcane here for the time being, but that is going to be moving, obviously. So, this is a double door, so we're gonna be putting that there. And we're, it's not gonna be too, too tall, it's gonna be only about the same height as our starting house so it's gonna go up by three wait a second or this is the enchantment <laughs> oh my I did that for nothing oh well that's how life goes um so yeah that of oh, this over here is the enchantment hut this here is gonna be our fishing hut there we go all right we got that all worked up. Oh, I also made a bucket in between episodes because that water over there was messed up, so we had to fix that. So yeah, simple starting design. I'm gonna go get one of my five crafting tables, I or three or something like that. It was a few crafting tables I made on accident a while ago. Yeah, we got three there, so we're just gonna take. I don't know why I'm so. Bad, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we got ourselves a crafting table. We're just gonna put it in this workspace for now. We're gonna make ourselves, let's say, half a stack of planks to start off with. And we're just gonna build it up. Pretty simple, like so. And we're gonna bring it back. We're also gonna have a few windows in here, so. Yeah, that's how it's gonna work. Yeah. So now we got ourselves a window there. They're gonna be long, slim windows, which I don't really like. That, hence, why is two big? Oh, a wandering trade over there. He's useless to us right now because we have no emeralds. Uh, so yeah, that's perfectly half a stack. But I'm also gonna have to do a little bit of this. 
and then through here is gonna be a dock uh, not too big a one obviously just one a good enough size I guess to fish off so off of so we are going since that is a few blocks in the air we gotta keep that in mind so we're gonna put a log there three up we're gonna put another log right across from it right here I believe yeah and then we're gonna go back another two blocks and do one more and this is just my generic dock that I like to build and also just because it just adds a little bit of character I'm just gonna do a little bit of that and that one there can stay actually no water removed the bark water removed all the bark poor 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 bark so uh, we're gonna go grab some cobblestone I don't think I actually have too many so we're gonna have to mine out some of our out of our mine yeah I've only got 26 but that actually might be a good enough amount for the inside of this house it might be I don't know for sure but yeah I also plan on doing a bit of mining outside of uh, episode in the future so I can get uh, some more iron and stuff because I mean we do we don't have tons but we have enough for now if that makes sense we are lucky we have just enough cobblestone I just saw how much popped up so oops I built so awkwardly I find yeah, we have got two spare pieces here and now it is looking a little bit bland in here um but I was fun it does when you're first starting a build so now we're gonna make some uh, slabs we're actually gonna make enough for um, the future roof that we make on this place so now with very difficult block that is why placing slabs is so hard because they're just very very annoying to place and then we might as well just do that. And then we need a bit more. So we're gonna, we got enough here for to make a few more. So let's do that. Uh, like so. And now we got ourselves a miniature. Never mind. Not quite. Not quite there. Now we got ourselves a miniature dock. But I am going to add some fences just because it adds a little bit more character. Uh, I might also put a few slabs on top of the oak wood here that we have. And I think that just adds a little bit more height, which it does. So now we got ourselves some fences. I'm only gonna need six, I believe, or is it eight? It's gonna be eight. So we have to make some more. And uh, the block palette around this place is pretty self-explanatory. Cobblestone is one of my favorite floor blocks. Geez, for some reason. So yeah, the dock is now completed. Now we have to worry about the roof and getting some doors in. So let's get the doors ready. And we'll be putting those right there. And yes, there isn't too, too much depth into this build. Because it's a fishing shack. Like, I was really thinking about making this a lot thinner. But I also want to have some chests on the side. So it's going to be a little bit more chunky. But I hope, I'm hoping that the... Uh, the dock over here the wharf whatever you want to call it kind of sticks out enough to add that little bit of a v side view which yeah so it, it I think it does a little bit so now we're gonna turn all, all ugh, turn all of our wood into planks I'm gonna get a nice ceiling going up here it doesn't have to be a big ceiling it's just gonna be a block two two and a half blocks very very simple just like our house and that was a mistake so we gotta do that there and now we also gotta make ourselves some stairs to wrap around the build I'm gonna need a bit more than that I think so I'm gonna have to get some more oak wood I think so which is oh that might be an issue we may have to sacrifice something from our nano farm we might have to move it again which is gonna suck. And uh, sugar cane and oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go inside the building to do that one, which is all right with me. 
very simply just place those along like so. I got seven more. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six. Two off. Oh, a tree group, perfect. I might, I might tear that one down and try to get one of those bigger ones. Oh, there's more planks in there. I actually need those. Give me, give me, give me, give me. So yeah, that may be an issue with uh, the nano farm, but I think we'll be all right. So now we've got. Oh, the stairs are now completed. We do have to add a few more torches going outside the build, but that is very very easy to do like that I'm gonna go back in the house and get glass in a few minutes but first things first we gotta get on top of this building so we're just gonna use the natural uh, mountain there to get up and we're just gonna for now do this along the edge and then we're gonna get this tree here to come down like so, yeah, this build isn't too too bad. It it is a little bit, you know, big, but it it'll be it'll be nice to have once we're done because we can make ourselves. I haven't really come across many spiders, but I do have enough string for a fishing rod. And then once we get along, we'll get bigger and better fishing rods. Like if you caught my stream the the day before I'm recording this, so it'd be yesterday if you're watching this, the day it comes out. Um, I had a god rod and then I'm a bot and I unenchanted it using a grindstone and it was the best fishing rod I've ever had So I lost my good good goddamn rod. Oh That guy's got a shell. I'm actually gonna go kill this guy. Give me ow. That was rude. Give me your shell, buddy There we go. That's step one down Well, we need eight. We need seven more. So Yep <laughs> So, I don't know why, but, like, it's, like, every time I, I'm running and get off this path here, I get a, a, I get a visual glitch on my screen, so, I wonder if that's just a bug for this, is that a sapling? Yeah, it is, I need that, come here, bar, give me a sapling. We're gonna go to sleep, and in the morning... We are going to add in the windows, and we're also going to add in a few chests, and then I believe... Actually, I might actually stick in a few barrels. Barrels and chests, I think, will be a nice little addition there. So, well, it's... I might actually steal one of these barrels from inside this house. Because, I mean, they're not hard to make at all. It's just they're really annoying to make. Because you have to make the sticks and the slabs. We got the slabs. We got some sticks. So let's craft up a few barrels. I think I actually have, yeah, oh my god, that's a lot of chests. Uh, yeah, eight, I think eight chests is gonna be a nice amount. So we're also gonna need these sticks. And let's find the bear over oh, there. Uh, yeah, one barrel's not gonna suit my needs. So let's make three. Three is a nice number. It's easy to stick with. Yes, I hear you over there, buddy, but I'm not going to look at your trades because I don't need to look at your trades. Not at all. Uh, I am going to leave this door open, I think. Uh, I might add a gate, but I don't think I'm going to really need to. So, yeah, we're going to put the crafting bench there, crafting table. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just go, make, go and make more chests? Oh my god, I'm so dumb sometimes. <laughs> put some there, maybe put one there. I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna put one here. I move the crafting table just to add a little bit more change to the build, I guess. So, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Let's get our, oh, no, we want our barrels. I'm gonna put one up, like sideways there. I'm gonna actually move this. Put a, another chest right there, and then put one up right, like so. And then, 
right, screw it. I'm gonna do this. Get one up. I might put one. This one here has upright. This is kind of hard to do when you're at a, but you don't have much space to jump. <clears throat> screw it. There we go. Full jump height. There we go. So that is now done. So. And now uh, I am going to make these a double chest here. Like that. And then we have chest aiming inwards because why not? So yeah. The fishing hut, I believe, is now complete for the time being until we add some upgrades into it. And yeah. So now we are on to the... Yes, I hear you over there. <laughs> We're on the second part of the episode today so now we're gonna do that add a few stairs and now this here is going to be do i not pick up the shell damn that would have sucked um this here's gonna be a farm and it's gonna go over here into a bridge and then this is gonna be a little peaceful look a uh, little island i think is gonna be a really really nice idea so yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a quick jump cut. I'm going to get more wood so I can get more slabs, some more stairs, and, yep. So, I'm going to be right back with those materials. All right, guys, I made an early jump cut here because we have a trident opportunity, too, actually. So, there's this dude over here. He can't really see me, I don't think, because I'm kind of a bu- Ooh, gold ingot, thanks, bud. I don't know if I got a trident out of that, but I got a gold ingot. All right, well, go get the second trident guy over there. You might be able to see him if you eagle-eyed, but it's I think I find it kind of hard to see at that distance. This guy did not want to die right away. Ew, that guy's holding his brother. Ew, no, that's not no, that's weird. Let me get rid of this dude here. Wait, uh, another gold ingot. Man, my luck today. I love it. I love it. And now this is the second trident opportunity here. Yo, that guy really hit me hard. Damn, and I got full iron armor, and that guy there hit me for five and a half hearts? That's ridiculous. Damn, well, we got two gold ingots out of killing two, like five guys. That's not bad at all. See, so, yeah, full hunger now, beautiful. And while well, I'm back, half a stack of wood later we're gonna build ourselves a little bit of a bridge so get a beautiful two stairs there another beautiful two stairs there do i have a piece of dirt on me yes i do i can go there and that's gonna go like there and then that's gonna do that and then i'm gonna extend this out a little bit just add a little bit more depth to it just, yeah my my builds are very specific. When I want them to look right, I'll make sure it looks right. So, um, yeah, we're actually gonna go use the crafting table, probably in the fish hut. Uh, no, we'll just use it in here because the door is like straight on. I'll bring, actually, no, I'll just bring this guy here with me. See so, ya. Yeah. I don't know why I just put it in the water, but I put it in the water. Because why not? 13 is... And it's not going to be a nice big bridge. It's just going to be a little bridge here that we can fit a boat under if we really needed to. Um, we're going to add a little bit of more design to this build. Don't worry. Do not worry. There is a middle to this, which is very nice. So we're going to keep that middle by moving this crafting table. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna do this on this side, like so. Actually, yeah, it's got one more. And we're gonna add, I think I'm, I'm gonna add a few fences. So let's put that there for now. Actually, I could put that up on top, I believe. Yeah, because that's one block up. So, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to get... I think I'm missing six. I need eight. So, yeah, ten's going to be the number that we want. 
And now we need a few more slabs here, so beautiful. I had enough anyways, I think. Yeah, I had more than enough. So we're going to add the spare edge right here, like so. There's a wolf over there having a great time. And we're going to add a few fence gate, uh, not fence gates, a few fences on the side there. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a f bit more of this slab action on the top. And that there is going to be our little bridge. And I don't think it looks that bad. I might do something along these lines. No, it does not look good at all. I don't like this. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down, think down in the comments. Just, these two fences work like that, or should I just have no fences like it'd be on this side? A, so I'll just say fences and no fences in the comments, and uh, yeah, whenever I get more back, I will do. So yeah, we're gonna start hurrying up, because this episode's taking quite a little long time, quite a while to record. And I like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump cut until I get the water in place, and then we're gonna start putting down the crops for the farm. Really? <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, everybody, we're back. I got the water in. I got the... I got two iron hose, so let's just get farming uh, I am gonna put down some pumpkins uh, I don't know why but I just want to put pumpkins down so it may end up sacrificing a little bit of our cropage space but in the end I think a lot of this is just gonna end up being wheat because I don't have any carrots nor potatoes yet so yeah uh, I'm also gonna bring this probably about there I might add a little bit of like grass or something or dirt just to make a bit of a separation but besides the point man these iron hoes they take a real hit when you're doing this like I'm actually gonna put a water source there I know there's a lake right there but I just like the look of it <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> so yeah it's just gonna go right to the edge there as much as possible along the water I think it's gonna be a little nice farm and we're gonna I don't think we're gonna put too much of a coat in I am gonna keep all the wheat and other crops like once we uh, eventually when we get potatoes and carrots on the one side and then once we get uh, like now that we have melons and well we don't have melons yet but what now that we have pumpkins I'm gonna be putting all the pumpkins and melons on like the block kind of farming on this side so yeah we're gonna do that um, so yeah, this here. I also got a few uh, sweet berries. I might just scatter those around, um, around the world somewhere. So um, we got a bit of beetroot here. So let's put in some beetroot. Uh, that's all we have for now. And we're just gonna scatter some some pumpkins around. One over there, maybe a little bit of here, and maybe one there. And we're missing a little bit over here. Yep. All right. Yeah. So the cropage is now complete. Um, I am gonna do a few more things in between episodes. Uh, we are gonna do. I believe we're gonna do the, this in the next episode. Ooh, fishing rod up. Okay, that guy got a nautilus shell, so we're guaranteed to get something here, which is very nice. Did we get both? No, we did. Oh. Hello there. Sweet. We got ourselves a trident. Woo. Let's go. We got ourselves a trident, guys. Awesome. So we're going to put... Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to put a singular sapling. But we're going to put a few on this island eventually. We're going to sugar cane it up in a few places. Let's put one maybe there. Maybe there. Definitely something there. And there. Why not? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm also gonna put in a few sweet berries lying around in this area over here too, so we can't get too too close or they are gonna hurt us and I do not wanna get hurt by sweet berries. I've never really seen somebody die to a sweet berry before, but I don't wanna be the first that I know of, so 
and we're just gonna move, move this crafting table just for now to right there so anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for today we got ourselves a beautiful farm and we now have a, a, a deep like we could have went fishing somewhere else but it's oh a brown sheep that's cool um so uh yeah we got ourselves a fishing hut now so be able to fish along here maybe get some nice enchanted books and enchanted fishing rods but anyways only oh yeah. anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode thank you all so much for watching uh again make sure to let me know down in the comments do you like the fences or do you prefer do you prefer just it to be blank like this without the berry bush there obviously but yeah it's up to you guys let me know in the comment section down below anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe and when you do subscribe hit that bell icon so you get notified for the next episode of inferno's world comes out but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one